Okay, in this video I'm going to look at how the intensity of an ultrasound pulse varies in both space and time. So first I'm going to look at how it changes in time. Now we looked previously and talked about how an ultrasound transducer emits a pulse of sound only for a very short amount of time during uh, the total time that it's on. The average intensity over this time that it's emitting the pulse is called the pulse average intensity. And that's abbreviated with the letters PA. Now we could, uh, since this is on only maybe less than 1% of the time, you could also look at the average intensity over the total time in between pulses. And that's called the time average intensity. Um, or uh, TA, abbreviated with letters TA. The other thing we can look at is um, the sound coming out of a transducer may not be completely uniform in space, okay? And so if it, uh, if we look at a, if we have a transducer here and the sound is absolutely perfect, it, it's at, it reaches a maximum intensity um, all the way across the transducer and then drops off to zero once you reach the edge of the transducer, that would be perfect. This is called the, uh, actually the beam uniformity ratio. And it tells you how uniform your beam is. And like uh, many things, um, if you really think about it, you're going to see that maybe this is better described as a beam non-uniformity ratio. Okay. Now, as the uh, that would be a perfect uh, or spread of sound intensity from the beam, but in more, most cases you're going to have lower intensity near the edges and a more intense uh, peak in the middle of the beam. So it's not going to be perfectly uniform. Now um, it may be, uh, maybe it'll be more flattened out and so it'll be approximately, approximately more like a square and or it could be perfectly square. So in this case uh, the beam uniformity ratio, ratio or the BUR, this would indicate a BUR of 1 and as you move this in this direction, you have increasing uh, non-uniformity, I would say. So this, the non-uniformity increases, and so let's say that over here we might have a non-uniformity as high as 3. Okay. <clears throat> so really the beam uniformity ratio is more a measure of non-uniformity, I, I would guess, than uniformity, where one would e equal a perfectly uniform, completely uniform beam, and then as the number gets larger, the uniformity is worse. All right. So uh, now that's in terms of space. Okay. So this is in terms of location. Um, across the transducer. And remember, the other thing we looked at was in terms of time. Now, one, uh, one place we could measure the intensity of the, uh, of the sound would be right up here at the peak. So if we measure the intensity of the sound pulse right where we have the, the peak <coughs> uh, intensity in terms of space, that's called the spatial peak. or uh, abbreviated SP. <clears throat> the other thing we could do is sort of uh, take the average intensity, measure the intensity at all the different places across the beam, and that would be called the spatial average. Okay, and that's abbreviated SA. So now we have um, the uh, pulse average, P 
PA we have the uh, time average TA we have the spatial peak um, SP and we have the spatial average SA All right, so uh, let's take a look at uh, how these are related. And you may have uh, intensity specified in terms of, uh, usually you'll have it in terms of two of these. So you might have the pulse average, or the, the spatial peak and the pulse average, or the spatial, spatial peak and the time average, or the spatial average and the pulse average or the spatial average and the time average. So you could have any combination of those and so you'd, uh, you'd have them written down as um, uh, in different ways such as SPPA or SATA depending on uh, what type of intensity you were looking at. Now it uh, turns out the um, intensity, the spatial average intensity, is equal to the peak is related to the peak intensity, the spatial peak intensity, um, by uh, dividing by the beam uniformity ratio. And it turns out that the time average. Uh, can be found by taking the uh, the time a the intensity of the time average can be take found by taking the uh, pulse average intensity and multiplying by the duty factor. Remember, the duty factor is the fraction of time that the uh, sound is actually on compared to the uh, total the total time in between pulses. Okay, so let's look at an example of this, uh, doing a, an example calculation based on uh, this idea. So, um, I'm going to say that, let's say we have a spatial uh, um, peak pulse average intensity uh, equal to uh, 1.5 watts per square centimeter. And I'm wondering what is the spatial average uh, time average intensity? Okay, so um, to get to the spatial, av spatial average I've got to divide by the beam uniformity ratio and then to get to the uh, time average intensity, I've got to multiply that result by the duty factor. So let's see, let's say that I have a beam uniformity ratio equal to 3, and I have a duty factor equal to uh, 0 0.0001. So it's only on for uh, one ten thousandth of the total time uh, that the pulse is only active. Okay. So what would be my um, what would be the intent the SATA intensity of that? So I have my initial intensity of um, uh, one point five uh, watts per square centimeter. I have to divide that by three to get the spatial average. And so that's point five watts per uh, square centimeter. And then um, to find the time average, I take that result and multiply it, uh, uh, since that's a peak average, um, to find the time average then I'm going to, uh, for the SATA, sorry, uh, I have to multiply that by the duty factor, which is 0.0001. Um, uh, 
if I move three decimal places, I'd be right here, and so that would be, if I just change to milliwatts, that would be milliwatts, and so it's going to be equal to 0 0.05 milliwatts per square centimeter. Okay, and so I could uh, do that on a calculator. So if I start with <coughs> 0.5 watts times 0 0.000 I got one extra one in there 1 uh, that's equal to 5 times 10 to the minus 5 and uh, if I multiply by 1000 that's equal to uh, 0.05 milliwatts per square centimeter